So it looks like a brand new game mode is coming to Overwatch sometime this year. What's going on guys, Controversy here and welcome back to another video. So you heard that right, game director Aaron Keller released a blog post detailing some changes we can look forward to. I've gotta say it's been pretty refreshing to have someone actually let us know what's going on in their mind and what we can also look forward to in the coming future, even patches away you already know some things that are coming for season four so if you work at blizzard and you're seeing this video just know keep up the great work now onto the blog post before we get into that if you enjoyed today's video please leave a like on it and let's go ahead and hop right into the video so as i said earlier we will be getting a new game mode sometime this year we don't have any information on what the mode will be but it looks like new maps will be needed for this mode i've seen some people speculate that it's going to be a different version of 2cp but I don't think that's going to be the case either. I've also seen some people claiming that the new mode is going to be capture the flag. One thing that I can certainly tell you is it's not going to be that. People on Twitter and plenty of people on TikTok are claiming that if you look at the patch notes from the Lunar New Year, you can see that they talk about capture the flag, but I can guarantee you they are certainly misunderstanding this. For starters, they told us capture the flag was coming with the Lunar New Year event, but it in fact came actually before the event. What we did did get with the event though was capture the flag blitz and the biggest factor as to how i know why it's not capture the flag is because it literally is already in the game like load up overwatch right now and you'll see it's already selectable so i'm guessing people just haven't been playing overwatch and have this opinion on it or they just don't play competitive but i can promise you this new mode is not going to be capture the flag now that that's out of the way i also want to point out the blog post starts off with them apologizing and owning up to their mistake if you're wondering what mistake that is it's rotating maps and map pools many people at the start of the season expressed a concern with rotating maps and map pools i'm sure you yourself probably weren't a fan of this change either well they realized this was certainly was not a good idea and they will be removing this change starting season four and going forward and they won't have this in any of the seasons following after they state map pools you were right we were wrong and it's actually quite unusual for many game companies to come out and state that the player base was actually the ones who were right about this. In many cases, devs just want to take the game down their own path and just kind of ignoring the player feedback while also taking account for it and trying not to go completely off base. But giving an exact change to what people ask for is, is honestly pretty unusual and it's good to see that someone was willing to actually do this. Apparently, this is because there just isn't enough map variety. So while they do like the change, they realize it's a bit too early to do something like this. It's possible it could come back far later on down the road when there's more maps, but at this time, we don't have to worry about it. And so far, we have one map to look forward to, and that's the Arctic Peninsula. This map already looks crazy good, and I think they did a perfect job on it. The game mode for it, though, will be control, so I don't think this is going to apply to the new mode coming on later. Nevertheless, come Season 4, we're going to have more map variety anyway, which is a great thing. And the biggest reason why I feel like this is such a big deal is because having a smaller map pool also affected the matchmaking. Now, I know that may sound confusing, but honestly, it makes a lot of sense and could be another reason why matchmaking has been just so bad. So Blizzard stated that they heard a lot of people were getting Coliseo more frequently than other maps. Aaron Keller goes on to state that there is no code for this, but it isn't exactly random either. This is where matchmaking comes in. The matchmaker will try to avoid putting you in the same map. So let's say that a team that is most ideal for you to play against Three of those members or even the entire team has already gotten done playing Shambhali. And it doesn't mean that they just got done playing the map, but they've played it sometime recently. But you haven't played Shambhali in like five or six games. So for you, it's very likely to come up. And even though the other team would be the most ideal and fair opponents for you, but since they just got done playing that map or played it more recently than you have, it's very unlikely for you two to pair against each other. Instead, you'll get paired against someone else that either could still be on your same level and also be pretty ideal or they could be too easy or too hard blizzard themselves have admitted that these blowouts are happening and they're doing things to try and fix and mitigate them i think this is another change that they're making to fix this issue having a larger map pool would open up opportunities to play against more suitable opponents more often because having a larger variety of maps means that it's likely that the people that you're are most suitable to play against probably haven't played the same map as you in a good enough amount of time so now you guys can play against each other even if you guys some one of you have played it a little bit more recently than the other but what this does is decrease the odds that they have played it recently 
and now you guys can play with against each other more often at the end of the day what really matters is that they recognize it's an issue and that they are addressing it lastly regarding events it looks like they're going to be doing something for the challenges and the rewards previously the way you unlocked rewards is that you had to participate in the event mode for that event so if you remember battle for olympus you had to actually play in that battle for olympus game mode and get a tremendous amount of eliminations in order to unlock the titles you had to do it on each of the heroes i believe there were seven you had to do it on all seven of them in that game mode if you wanted to get the reward and i think the amount of eliminations was like 300 so you had to get 2100 eliminations on each of those heroes if you wanted to get all of the rewards now if you're like me you don't really mess around these modes very much so then you miss out on rewards simply because you choose to play the game a different way this is actually something that's kind of weird considering challenges can be done in all game modes so why is it limiting to just the event game mode i mean a game like apex has events that have event game modes as well but you're allowed to complete the challenges in any of the game modes and get the rewards from that and it looks like this is exactly what overwatch is going to be changing for their next event Aaron states that we're shifting the direction to include more challenges to let you play the way you prefer while still introducing event game modes. So if Battle of Olympus comes back again, it looks like you'll just be able to play either, you know, Junker Queen, Lucio, yada yada, and get this certain amount of eliminations with them in any of the game modes. It doesn't have to be in Battle for Olympus, but it's likely that, you know, the event will still count. If you choose to play the event, you'll still also get progress towards completing that event. It's good that they're recognizing these things and it looks like they're really learning from the challenges that they're coming up to. And it seems like they do really want this game to last this time. If you guys enjoyed today's video or found any of this information helpful, please leave a like on it. And if you guys want to come back and see more Overwatch content like this, smash that sub button and I'll see you guys in the next video.